earlier today, we ended up getting a beta level cap increase for the World War II beta, something that was, in a lot of senses, much needed for a lot of players, simply because, though it is just now technically the second day of the beta, in terms of what the schedule was supposed to be like, we ended up getting the beta starting on Thursday, so this is now the third day of the beta, tomorrow, Sunday, may potentially be the last, but they also may extend it out to Monday and Tuesday, whether or not they do, I guess that's something we'll see in time, but regardless, we got a little bit of an update now for this, and the new max level is no longer 20, it is 25 within the Call of Duty World War II beta. And as such, we ended up getting the WAF-28, which is an SMG, the 1911, which is a pistol, Energetic, which is a basic training, the s Mine 44 which is equipment, and the Fighter Pilot Streak for ranking up to that new max level of 25. So in this one, I want to showcase a little bit of the WAF-28, the brand new SMG, which I'm sure most people will gravitate towards this more so than the other things because it is that primary weapon. It's one that a lot of people definitely will want to see how it works out. Is it something formidable to end up going into battle? All that kind of stuff. So we'll talk a little bit about it within this one, and then I'll probably let you guys see a little bit of extra gameplay at the end, just raw, unedited, all that good stuff. So that said, jumping into it, once again, this is available at level 22 in the SMG category. It's not specifically just for airborne, as with all the other weapons. It's nothing like that where they change the meta around for it, and it very much so resembles that of the Type 100, except the magazine does not have any curvature on it, so it looks more so like a Sten, but if we're being accurate, it is the MP28, and actually, a little quirk with it in the game code and everything like that is if you end up completing the challenges, so the Marksman challenges where you get a certain number of kills with the weapon, it actually doesn't showcase as the WAF-28, it actually showcases as the MP28, therefore definitively pinpointing what the weapon was modeled after and what it was probably known as in the game code. But nonetheless, I digress, let's jump a little bit into how it plays. Now, once again, it plays very much so like the Type 100, but a little bit of a faster fire rate it seems like, and additionally the WAF-28 has two additional shots compared to the Type 100, so it offers you a little bit more in leeway there, but honestly not much at all, and especially when you consider the fire rate, you probably burn through your ammo a little bit faster. I haven't done the statistical breakdowns of it just yet, this is just eyeballing it, but nonetheless, the big thing with it though is the recoil compared to the Type 100 for sure. This thing has a lot more kick, and of course if you're trying to go for picking people off of head glitches, it's not necessarily your greatest choice whatsoever. And in terms of recoil in general, this is one of those ones where the grip comes in massive handy. I think more so than any of the other weapons thus far. I think I said that a little bit about the Type 100 where the grip came in handy with that, but this definitely has more kick, so you want to be able to control that. Now, in terms of what else you should run on it, this thing honestly isn't overpowered, contrary to what a lot of people are saying, especially at that base level, but as soon as you toss on the right attachments, you do get some advantages, but again, it'll still be comparable to a PPSH or something like that, all attachments out as well. But that said, should you sleep on this weapon? I don't think so. I think it's definitely worth giving it a shot. And of course, you're definitely gonna wanna rank it up a little bit because once again, the bear weapon itself is not really my favorite, but once you get some attachments on it, once you throw on the extended mags or whatever, it definitely becomes a little bit more fun to play around with. Extended mags, I think, is the most crutch attachment here on this, but that's just me. You can still pull off doubles, but not with as much ease as you would with, say, the Grease Gun or the PPSH, or even the Type 100 in some senses. But that said, available at level 22, just after that level increase here for the cap, so if you're on, give it a shot, try it out, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's overpowered? Do you think it's underpowered? Whatever it may be, let me know down there in the comment section down below. But I'll leave you guys with some extra gameplay here to check it out in its raw, unedited format. But that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II. We're gonna be killing it with the beta, so make sure you guys stick it right here if it interests you at all. And finally, if you guys wanna follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with outside of YouTube. Practice live on Twitter, so if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said and out of the way, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Mine is an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace. Recon airborne. Echo back. Echo bombs ready. Fire in the hole. Drop zone. 
Recon searching for targets. Recon searching for targets. Contact! Recon flight concluded. Recon searching for targets. <laughs> Recon aloft. We have eyes in the sky. Azon bomb mission underway. Care package on the way. Protect the drop zone. 